Hi friends, this is Santu. Now I am going to show you how to use router transformation in a mapping. Router basically is active transformation. It routes data in different groups. This is nothing but a combination of EPLs blocks. So depending on condition, if you want to load some data in a different flow and other data in another flow then in, instead of using filter transformation you can do it by router so for this demonstration I have one source table customer in this customer table there is one column status and this uh, distinct status are active, a, live, pending, t and non-live now using router transformation I will divide it all the data on this status which have having status A active and live those will be loaded in cast underscore live table and which are having status as pending T and non live those will be loaded in cast underscore non live table these two tables cast live and cast non live have same structure as customer so go to the informatica and import source and targets i already have imported those so this is my source and these are my targets in live and non live now after creating source and targets go to mapping designer click on mapping click create now give a map mapping name click ok now drag a source here now source has been created with source qualifier now create a router from transformation create a router give an arm click done drag and drop all the ports into the router now by default all will be input input port only so click on that if you see here if these all are input ports now go to groups click on create at in add a new group so new group means here we will have we will give our conditions so first one is my live group and here give the condition condition is go to functions if Don't need it. Go to port status equal to if or status equal to active or Status equal to live. Active will be single quote as it is string. Click validate. Validation. Oh. 
okay okay now second one we have to create non live group similar way give here conditions quotes status equal to t or those are not case sensitive you can give it in small or caps but the strings are case sensitive so for designing standard i am giving all our in caps no like or status equal to pending okay i am giving pending as small because in database table this is in a small letter Okay. Now, now the two groups have been created, and one default group, which which are created automatically. This group actually flows data when if a if a row if a data does not belongs to this group and this group, then that data will by default flow to this default group. Means if any condition does not satisfy. both of these two conditions then that will flow through default group so now click okay nothing need to change now now drag and drop targets live and non live now go down here you will see these two groups which we have created here you can see that live and this is non live and this is default one so this is my live so i have to connect live one live one to this So this is my live flow, and this is my non-live flow. Now save it. Okay. So my mapping is is ready now, and uh, target schema name you can provide here or in session. I will going to provide it in session level. So now mapping has been created. Save it. Now go to workflow manager. Need to create a workflow and sessions to run this mapping. So now workflow manager. Click on workflow. Then create. Give a workflow name. Router. Click OK. Now click on task. Then create. Give a name. Name of the task. So create. Select the mapping for which this task is creating. done now session has been created connect this to now go to session go to mapping and for source here provide the database name and below 
in the place of owner name provide the schema name on the table then go to target similar way provide here the connection name and target load type make it normal and table name prefix provide the schema name or second table also click ok and now save it using control s or from repository save so I am mapping and sessions are ready now to run now just run it Present is running now. The output on session will give the properties here from the target source table. We have it has fetched 181 rows, and in long live it has inserted 51 rows, and in live it has inserted 1770 rows. So, if you check from back end and go to select scrunter system live here yes this is tfs column so it will take this thing status are active e and live records has been inserted and for the second one non live pending t and non non loving non non live the records has been inserted in this table so this is the overall you example use of router transformation and here we have created two default groups so if we need more um, if you if for your business project if you need more channels data flow channels then you can add more groups depending on your condition for more videos log on to this channel thank you